Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. I've been a CPA for 25 years and today I'm going to talk to you about accounts payable aging reports and how to use these reports when cash flows a little slow in your business. So an accounts payable aging report shows all of your unpaid vendor invoices and it's going to group them by the number of days that they're overdue. So an important best practice in accounts payable management is to always enter your bills as soon as you receive them. A lot of companies are going to wait and they don't enter the bill until I actually issue a check to pay it. Well, if you do that, you're not really utilizing your accounting software to the full extent. You should enter those expenses immediately so that you can then allow the program to help you manage the accounts payable, manage the bills that are due, help you select which ones need to be paid and which ones can perhaps wait until next month. So I suggest looking at your accounts payable aging report at least once a month or whenever you sit down to pay bills. So if you pay bills every week, generate the accounts payable aging report before you pay bills. If you do it once a month, generate that report once a month. Now really this report is valuable when you just don't have the cash flow to pay all of your vendors. Um, it's unfortunate. I know we'd love to all pay all of our bills on time, but sometimes you know we fall a little behind and we're not going to be able to pay everything that month that's when you need to generate an accounts payable aging report so you can decide which vendors are going to get paid this month which vendors are going to have to wait until the next month so if you're using QuickBooks online they have a very handy uh, accounts payable aging report the sample I showed you uh, was from QuickBooks very easy to, to print uh, in your left menu bar click on reports and then there's a search bar above simply select accounts payable and the accounts payable aging detail or aging summary will come up and we'll talk about each of those first let's look at the AP aging summary uh, so this summarizes all outstanding invoices to each of our vendors so here's Cecil's Lockworks we can see we have some invoices that are current and we have other invoices that are between 1 and 30 days late 31 and 60 days late and 61 and 90 days late so personally this is my favorite uh, report this is going to show how much you owe uh, to each vendor in a very easy to understand format the other report available is your AP aging detail. Now this one is listed by uh, bill or invoice rather than by the vendor. So here we have our top uh, group are 91 days and older and that's this particular bill from electronics manufacturer. Here we see CISO Lockworks has looks like five, six, seven different bills that are late and this shows each of the bill uh, detail so up to you whatever you like to work with I prefer to see how much do I owe each vendor individually to determine whether I need to uh, pay money to that vendor this month again we'd love to pay all of our vendors every month but sometimes it's not possible and that's when this analysis can help us so when I sit down um, unfortunately I've had uh, <laughs> the uh, opportunity to do this type of things with clients uh, when we sit down to pay bills first thing we do is we have to determine how much cash do we have available to pay bills um, when you do that make sure you set aside enough cash to cover your upcoming payroll and your upcoming payroll taxes um, in almost all situations those need to take precedent over paying your vendors um, you can't stay in business without uh, employees so you need to make payroll and you absolutely need to pay payroll taxes if you collect money from your employees you need to turn that over to the government the penalties can be outrageous and to be honest in my experience when a company falls behind making their payroll tax payments they go out of business it's the beginning of the end um, you just cannot miss payroll tax deadlines so set enough money aside uh, for those things prior to paying any vendors then you can see this is how much cash I have left over. Now I need to decide how am I going to divide that among the vendors that I owe. Well, first thing I would do, start with that 90 days, 91 days and over column. So obviously these are the ones that are the um, most overdue. These are the ones that are likely going to stop providing service or products to you. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean you pay everybody that's in the 91 or over column. You think about, can I live without that product or service and that is really the main thing you want to think about when you look at this accounts payable aging report and probably why I like to look at it uh, summarized by vendor is 
unfortunately, we need to admit to ourselves that all not all vendors are of equal importance. So, you know, if we're a roofing company, whoever provides our roofing material is probably one of our most important vendors. We can't let we can't get so far behind with them that they stop shipping us roofing material. Right? We'll be in big trouble. What are we going to sell to our customers? How are we going to complete jobs? So look through your vendor list, determine which ones are the most important, which ones are threatening to shut you off, um, which ones are not. Uh, other vendors, you know, magazine subscriptions, professional organizations, all of those things are probably far less important. So even if they are 91 days overdue, you probably you may not want to pay them if you have more important vendors uh, that are even uh, overdue for a shorter amount of time. Um, so uh, this is really about weighing the importance of vendors, how likely are they to shut you off, and to keep the important vendors providing services and products until you get back on your feet. So this was Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. I hope this discussion was, was helpful. I hope you never have to rely on an accounts uh, payable aging report um, to decide which vendors to pay. Uh, but if you do, I hope this was very helpful. Until next time. Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business.